In this video, I'm gonna break down how you can set up a lead generation marketing campaign for you and your clients using Facebook ads. Now this video is for people who maybe it's their first time setting up an ad or maybe you are someone who has a little bit of experience but just wants to further their knowledge. Regardless of where you're at, by the end of this video, you'll be an expert in Facebook ads for local businesses. If you're new here, I do have a free Facebook group for all of you who are looking to start or scale your lead gen SMMA. You can go through the link in the description of this video. It would also mean a lot if you like and subscribe and turn those bell notifications on so you get notified when I release new videos. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So firstly, I kind of want to discuss why we should advertise on Facebook. Facebook and why it's my personal favorite advertising platform. Many people in 2022 believe Facebook ads are dead and it couldn't be further from the truth. Around 2.8 billion people, and that's billion with a B, use Facebook every month and it has arguably the best targeting features of any advertising platform. 70% of users check the platform multiple times a day. The average user spends 33 minutes on the platform and you know the average cost per click is below a dollar and the average CPM is around $12. Facebook ad revenue accounted for, I believe it was $20 billion in one quarter of 2020, which shows us that marketers are still spending a lot of money on the platform and 76% of Facebook users earn more than 75,000 per year. So people on the platform have money and are willing to spend it. And you know, we have the ability to be in front of them. All right, so now I wanna to talk to you about some of the things that you must have set up before you run ads and they're very common to overlook. You need to make sure the client has verified their business manager. If they have run ads before, then chances are they've done this, but if it's all new to them, make sure they have, otherwise you're at risk of getting banned. And trust me, you don't want that because it can take multiple days, even up to a week to solve, to get them to verify it. And look, it's really not hard to do. The next thing is make sure that they have their card on file in the ads manager. This is simply done by going into the billing section. And again, if they've run ads and have an ads manager, then they will probably already have this done. But again, if it's new and they're sitting out fresh, make sure they do it. Okay, so now we have gone through why Facebook advertising is so powerful and some must haves before running ads for clients. I wanna to talk to you about very quickly how Facebook works because what you see on the newsfeed is just a very small part of how it actually works and what you need to have in place to see the end result. It's like the iceberg. On the surface, you only see a small part of the picture. 90% is underneath the surface, so here it is. Firstly, we have the business manager or business suite. Now this is, I guess, the overarching account we use to manage everything. A business manager just holds and stores everything and is the parent to everything else. So we then have our ads manager and this just hosts our ad accounts. Now inside the ads manager, we can have two, five, 10, or even 15 different ad accounts. Each business will have its own ad account. And when you sign on clients, you'll also be granted access to their ad account. Inside this ad account is where we'll manage our ads we run for the business. So the structure of an ad starts at the campaign level. This is just the type of ad we wanna run, whether it be lead generation, uh, video views, conversions, sending message. For this video and 99% of the things that you do for local businesses will be through lead generation. We don't really need to worry about anything else. Next, we have the ad set. This is simply our target audience, the sort of person we wanna see our ad based on their age, uh, interests, and a whole bunch of things. And finally, we have the ad. So this is what we all see when we scroll on the newsfeed. So I add copy, the creative, whether it be graphics or a video. So you see, there's a lot that goes into this, but don't worry, it is very simple to understand. Now that we have all that, I'm actually gonna take you inside the ad account now, and we're gonna create a lead gem campaign together. Okay, so we're inside the ad account now, and as you can see, this is where everything gets run from. So to create a new campaign, I'm gonna to go to the top left and click the big green button. So as you can see, it gives us different options. If you want more details on what each objective is, just hover over the little information icon. But if you're working with local businesses, then we will be using lead generation for basically everything. Now we wanna name our campaign. 
So look, I like to keep it simple. We won't go into naming too much in this video, but I'm gonna set up a campaign for a real estate agent. So let's pretend his name is John. So I might call the campaign John uh, Brisbane, which is the area, and however many leads I'm gonna be giving him. This is just the offer. This could just be your offer, right? For the ad set, I'm gonna do the city and the radius. So let's say five kilometers or something like that. And the ad, I might just say free appraisal Brisbane. Now we see the special ad category. This applies if you're running ads for housing, credit or employment. You must click on this or you run the risk of getting your ad shut down. This does limit your targeting in the next step, but don't worry. So next we have our campaign budget optimization. So we leave this off, especially in the beginning. It's more for when you, you know, have results, consistent leads, and just want to bundle everything together. By having it off, uh, we have more control over our budget. Okay, so now we move on to the ad set. We're going to make sure our ads will run from the page we want them to. So make sure you choose the right page. Uh, for your clients, you'll be running it from their page. So make sure it is connected. Uh, and that's what people will see when they scroll on the newsfeed. Now budget, I always recommend around $10 per day to begin with because we can always scale up. I don't worry about lifetime or start and end dates. You should always just let it run and Facebook do its thing and you just manage it manually. Now for real estate, if you want seller leads, which, which just means people interested in possibly selling their home, we want to make sure we're only targeting people who live in this location. I always like to drop the pin um, and, you know, this sort of depends on where your client services and where the local business is. Usually only a few kilometers, nothing crazy. Then I'll make sure that the age is 30 plus because most homeowners will be in that age range. Now look, I like to keep my detailed targeting completely open. For other businesses, maybe you might add one or two options here. But I've found more success with real estate leaving it broad because Facebook is just incredible at what it does and it will do the heavy lifting for us. Now placements, you can try both, right? But for this video, I'm going to go manual placements and remove stories, uh, you know, audience network and really just keep things on the newsfeed and, you know, Instagram and, and Facebook stories. Now that brings us to the ad itself. So you have different options, whether you want to use image, uh, video, or carousel. Now I recommend always sticking with just image or video. For this example, I'm going to use an image. For real estate, I like to use a property that is within the area I'm going after. Now if you're in Australia, don't use a house from the US, and if you're in the US, don't use a house from another country, or even state where they might look slightly different. I have been caught out on this, so just take my word for it. So I'm going to choose my image here. Um, you may be able to upload one, maybe you've made it in Canva or something like that. I'm just going to use one that I already have, uh, you know, on file. So now it's time to work on our primary text. I've already written mine, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. Now it's important to note that you can also relate it to the current market climate. So you can always talk about the rise of interest rates and a possible recession as part of your strategy to offering an appraisal on their home. There are a lot of different angles you can go down, but again, just for this video, I'm going to keep it really, really simple. So now we can really choose the button and you know, that's looking pretty good now. From here, we need to create a lead form. It is pretty straightforward and you can see an example I use here. Um, we're asking for their name, email, phone number, and also their property address, which is incredibly important by the way. Now, once you have this set up, you can actually make sure that the client, your, you know, your, your client gets the leads automatically via text and email. Now you can do this through Zapier. I don't have a video on it yet. I might create one in the future, but Type in YouTube how to set up a Zapier automation and you'll be able to find something. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up your very first ad. Once we've done that and it says review, then it'll be approved probably within 24 hours. 
If you'd like to see how I can help you or your agency through the Agency Academy coaching program, fill in your details below, book a call using the link in the description, and please like and subscribe to the channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.